I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are in the most need of thy mercy. The five luminous mysteries, the first of the luminous mysteries, the baptism of our Lord in the Jordan. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are in the most need of thy mercy. The second luminous mystery is Jesus' self-manifestation at the wedding feast of Cana in Galilee. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are in the most need of thy mercy. The third luminous mystery is the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are in the most need of thy mercy. 
The fourth luminous mystery is the transfiguration. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Souls to heaven, help especially those who are in the most need of thy mercy. The fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Eucharist. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, full of God, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our 
Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are in the most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. O oh God, God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant to you, each thee, that while meditating on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. And may the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Good evening and welcome. My name is Karen and I will be the community leader for this Mass. Let us all join together in worship and sing All Creatures of Our God and King. God and King, lift up your praises, let us sing. Alleluia, alleluia, bright burning sun with golden beams, soft silver moon that gently gleams, oh praise him, oh praise him, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Thank you. Good evening. Welcome to our celebration. And as we begin, we pause once again and we call to mind our need for his forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O oh God, who gave the priest St. Jerome a living and tender love for the sacred scripture, grant that your people may be ever more fruitfully nourished by your word and find in it the fount of life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Nehemiah. 
The whole people gathered as one in the open space before the water gate, and they called upon Ezra the scribe to bring forth the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord prescribed for Israel. On the first day of the seventh month, therefore, Ezra the priest brought the law before the assembly, which consisted of men, women, and those children old enough to understand. Standing at one end of the open place that was before the water gate, he read out of the book from daybreak until midday, in the presence of the men, the women, and those children old enough to understand. And all the people listened attentively to the book of the law. Ezra the scribe stood on a wooden platform that had been made for the occasion. He opened the scroll so that so that all the people might see it, for he was standing higher up than any of the people. And as he opened it, all the people rose. Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God, and all the people, their hands raised high, answered, Amen, Amen. Then they bowed down, prostrated themselves before the Lord, their faces on the ground. As the people remained in their places, Ezra read plainly from the book of the law of God, interpreting it so that all could understand what was read. Then Nehemiah, that is, his excellency, and Ezra the priest, scribe, and the Levites who were instructing the people said to all the people, Today is holy to the Lord your God. Do not be sad and do not weep. For all the people were weeping as they heard the words of the law. He said further, Go, eat rich foods and drink sweet drinks, and allot portions to those who had nothing prepared, for today is holy to our Lord. Do not be saddened this day, for rejoicing the Lord must be your strength. And the Levites quieted all the people, saying, Hush, for today is holy, and you must not be saddened. Then all of the people went to eat and drink, to distribute portions and to celebrate with great joy, for they understood the words that had been expounded to them. The word of the Lord. No. <laughs> Responsorial Psalm, the precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus appointed 72 other disciples whom he sent out ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. 
So ask the master of the harvest to send laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say peace to this household. And if a peaceable person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is set before you, for the laborer deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick in it, and say to them, the kingdom of God is at hand for you. Whatever town you enter and they do not receive you, go out into the streets and say, the dust of your town that clings to our feet, even that we shake off against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God is at hand, and I tell you it will be more tolerable for Sodom on that day than for this town. The Gospel of the Lord. We read um, the 19th Psalm today and our response to the Psalm. And of course, I was struck by the fact that we just use a few verses of the Psalm, verses 8, 9, 10, 11. And to me, we miss the best verse of all in, in Psalm 19. The, the interpretation I like of that verse 14 May the words of my mouth and the whispering of my heart always find favor in your presence, O Lord, my God. What a great summation. Uh, the beautiful things before that in the other verses, the precepts of the Lord, how good they are, how right and how solid, and having fear of the Lord, bringing purity and growing us in grace, and knowing the precepts of the Lord more precious than gold, but may the words of my mouth and the whispering of my heart always find favor in your presence, O Lord, my God. What a beautiful prayer. And interesting uh, first reading. Prophet Nehemiah, again, writing in the time of the exile. And you might have read the reading yesterday from Nehemiah. Um, it was um, the story of uh, coming back and proclaiming uh, that the temple in Jerusalem is to be rebuilt that had been spoken of by many of the other prophets, but um, Nehemiah certainly laid it out for the people the previous reading in chapter 2. And now Ezra comes. Ezra, the priest, um, the scribe. And he comes from Persia, from the court in Persia, because uh, Darius, the king of Persia, who had defeated the Babylonians, had said, issued a decree saying the temple in Jerusalem is to be rebuilt. Uh, rebuilt. God had given him that message, and uh, he provided silver and gold and support for the uh, people of Israel to go back. And the task was to rebuild the temple, which had been destroyed in the Babylonian exile. So here comes Nehemiah setting it up, and now here comes Ezra, the priest prophet, the uh, scribe. And uh, he, they're having a big day of celebration, reading from the book of the law of Moses. Doesn't sound like a man it would be very exciting. I mean, how many hours could you spend listening to somebody reading from the book of law? Um, it's hard enough to hold people here when we're celebrating Eucharist and having communion. But uh, I think a lot of folks would have left soon after this. But he read from um, morning until noon. Um, there was a lot of going. But it was an important event. It was an important day because it was about the covenant. The covenant that had been made before and was now being renewed again. And so here are the prescriptions for us to uphold this relationship. 
God knows it would have been difficult to go through it, but some of them were crying. I'd have been crying too, I think, you know. But maybe, uh, you know, not tears of joy, as Ezra is saying to the people. Hey, this is a joyful day. Yes, it was a joyful day. But this covenant relationship with God was being laid out. And, hey, there were many details to be fulfilled. But the details could be summarized in Psalm 19, verse 14. May the words of my mouth and the whispering of my heart always find favor in your presence, O Lord, my God. But to the people of Israel, the laws, and each one of them coming from the different teachers and rabbis and instructors, and they had all those 613 precepts in the law. So hearing them read out was inviting them to be an integral part of the covenant. And poor Ezra is doing his best. He's up over them and looking down on them, and they see the scroll. Hey, this is the agreement we have with God. Uh, it's easy to get bogged down in the little uh, minutiae or peripheral stuff, but the big part was, hey, pay attention. This is our, our agreement with God and how we are going to respond and how we are going to live. Now that we're coming back and rebuilding the temple, And we're going to rebuild what was destroyed before. We're going to bring back, and it's going to be even better than before. And so Ezra could well say to them, hey, don't be crying. Uh, This is a day of rejoicing, a day of celebration, that all of this is going to come to fulfillment, and that there is a rationale behind all of these laws, and that is growing in relationship with him. And so understanding that, that will help us in building the temple and uh, raising up this covenant once again, that we are all going to be renewed and we are all going to benefit from it. And then we have the gospel, sending out of the 72. You might remember Sunday we had the story from the book of Numbers, how the 70 received the Spirit, and the two in the tent who didn't come out of the camp, they received the Spirit as well, and that caused another stir. But the 72 was significant, and so the 72 here in Jesus sending him out was very significant because it was bringing us back to that reality. The people that were needed to carry the mission, and Jesus makes that very clear in the gospel. He said, hey, harvest is great, but the laborers are few. Pray the harvest master to send laborers into his harvest. Oh, that he would indeed. Send lots and lots and lots of them and prophets and teachers and proclaimers and uh, workers and doers to celebrate his word, to proclaim the, the word as was laid out in the first reading. And so uh, Jesus sends them on their way, sends them in pairs saying, hey, this is challenging work. I'm sending you out like sheep among wolves. Because people will challenge you at every corner on this, on what it means to be faithful to God and what God asks and what God uh, expects and hopes for and looks for in our lives. But don't be deterred. You have companions and pray the harvest master to send more people into the harvest to proclaim the good news. Lord, we ask you to hear our prayers. Bless us this evening as we gather in your name. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer for the church, that we may have courage to shine a light on our own faults and failings, excising what causes us to sin. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our nation, that we may always strive to live up to our ideals, taking special care of those without political or economic power and working for the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the cries of those whose labor contributes to the wealth of society, but whose wages do not reflect that, may be heard so that all workers receive a just wage that allows them to live decently. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of the blessings of humility and self-sacrifice among all people, so that we may be increasingly willing to assist those in need. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those seeking the source of all goodness may find the face of Christ reflected in the witness of our faith community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers and special intentions of the people of St. Paul Parish for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick in our parish community and in need of your touch, your healing, your saving power, and your grace, pray especially for Kevin Smith and Rob Marsh and all others who have asked us to remember them in prayer, we pray to you, Lord. We pray for uh, Joey Borg, uh, brother of Shirley Gerard, for whom Mass is offered this evening. We ask you, Lord, to reward him with life in your presence and bless Shirley and her family who mourn his passing. We pray to you, Lord. We pray continued prayers for Chad LaFontaine and for his family who mourn his passing at this time. We ask you to be with them in a special way. We pray to you, Lord. Father, all of these, our needs, we bring to you. We ask that you accept and grant them in Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, the work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God, who is our Almighty Father. To the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, that having meditated on your word and following the example of St. Jerome, we may more eagerly draw near to offer your majesty the sacrifice of salvation through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For as the festival of St. Jerome you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, you teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so we join company of angels and saints as we proclaim your glory. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew for, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. <clears throat> and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death O Lord until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all of your people. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Apostles, and with all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Now we pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always freed from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you, and let us be grateful for that peace and acknowledge it to one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Let us now join together in singing our communion hymn, Christ Be Our Light. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people. Light for the world to see, Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness, Christ be our light, shine in your church, gather together. Longing for peace, our world is troubled. Longing for hope, many despair. Your word alone has power to save us. Make us your living voice. Christ, be our light. Shine in our hearts shine through the darkness christ be our light shine in your church gather
Lord be with you. May Almighty God continue to bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Mass is ended and we go now in peace to love and to serve God and each other. Thank you all for being here. Have a wonderful evening. Jerry, this year last? Saturday night, okay. We'll miss you and your gone brother to our west, the beautiful sunshine, sun. Thank you. Okay. Let us now pray our commitment prayer. Here's my I promise, promise, Lord. Lord. I, commit I commit to look to for the face of God in every face I see. I commit to respect and act with empathy and compassion toward all, especially those who are struggling and those whose beliefs, values, and lifestyles are different from mine. I will do my part to stop the spread of the virus, prejudice, racism, poverty, and negativity. I can only do this through you, with you, and in you, Almighty God. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, amen. Let us all praise our God together with our closing song, I Know That My Redeemer Lives. That my Redeemer lives, what joy the blessed assurance gives. He lives, he lives, who once was dead. He lives, my triumphant from the grave. He lives eternally to save. He lives in majesty above. He lives to guide his church in all glory to his name he lives my savior still the same what joy this blessed assurance is i know that my 